Rangelands in the western United States are valuable agricultural resources for livestock production. They also provide important habitat for wildlife. Grasshoppers and Mormon crickets are natural components of this ecosystem. However, their populations can reach outbreak levels and cause serious economic and ecological losses to rangeland forage, especially during periods of drought. When a grasshopper or Mormon cricket outbreak threatens rangeland forage, landowners and managers can request assistance from the Rangeland Grasshopper and Mormon Cricket Suppression Program, part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, or APHIS. This program not only helps to protect rangeland forage, it also protects nearby crops from these pests. Before APHIS treats for grasshoppers and Mormon crickets on rangelands, two things need to happen. First, we must receive a written request from the landowner or manager. Second, we must determine that the treatment will effectively suppress grasshopper and Mormon cricket populations to levels that will not cause significant forage loss and ecological damage. Grasshoppers and Mormon crickets are closely related insects. Nearly 400 grasshopper species inhabit the western United States, but only a small percentage are considered pests. Anywhere from one to multiple grasshopper species can be found in a rangeland ecosystem. Economic damage usually occurs when one or more of these species increase in number. Both grasshoppers and Mormon crickets damage grasses and other vegetation by consuming plant stems and leaves. Their feeding interferes with plant growth and seed production, which reduces valuable forage for livestock and wildlife. Feeding can also lead to soil erosion and degradation, disruption of rangeland nutrient cycles, interference with rangeland water filtration, and potentially irreversible changes in the rangeland ecosystem. Some populations that develop on rangelands can also invade adjacent cropland, which is considerably more costly. APHIS surveys rangeland grasshopper and Mormon cricket populations in up to 17 contiguous western states. APHIS works with landowners and managers who request help with suppressing grasshopper and Mormon cricket populations. APHIS also provides information on these pests and treatment options and delivers public outreach and educational programs. When landowners and managers make a written request for grasshopper or Mormon cricket treatment, APHIS visits the site and assesses various factors to determine whether action is necessary. These factors include, but are not limited to, grasshopper and Mormon cricket densities per square yard, the pest species and its biological stage, and treatment timing and options. County, state, and federal officials, tribes, and or rancher groups may request APHIS assistance when surveys show the potential for large populations. APHIS employs cost-sharing in compliance with Title VII of the U.S. Code, Section 7717, to assist grasshopper and Mormon cricket suppression treatments on federal, state, and private rangelands. Pending availability of funds, APHIS will pay for all or some of the treatment costs. On federal and tribal trust rangelands, APHIS pays 100% of the costs. On state rangelands, APHIS pays 50% of the costs. While on private rangelands, APHIS pays 33% of the costs, with the state and or private landowner responsible for paying the remainder of the treatment costs, in addition to any applicable indirect charges. APHIS is also continually focused on research and development in an effort to improve and refine management methods. For more information, please visit www.aphis.usda.gov. Search grasshoppers or state plant health directors.